Sorry if you can hear some grrr sounds in the background. So much construction. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a video. I really hope that that is not an issue. I'm currently a senior, kind of. I'm still technically a senior in high school even though I'm not in high school. Yeah, so today I'm filming a video I've wanted to make since I was a sophomore. It is where I'm going to college. I'm going to college. It's weird, I know, but I've been making videos for seven years and this is probably the one I've been the most nervous and excited to make. I wanted to have a whole like tray of like cupcakes with the schools in them, um, but I didn't want to make 24 cupcakes. And also, I can't go to the grocery store right now because coronavirus. We're good. I applied to 24 schools. Finally decided on one. I committed about a month ago. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know where I'm going. I can't even remember all of them. So I have a spreadsheet with all of my schools on them. So these are the schools I applied to. Texas A&M, UT Austin, Louisiana State, UT San Antonio, North Carolina State, CU Boulder, UC Santa Barbara, Boston University, University of Arizona, University of Michigan, University of Houston, Clemson University, UT Dallas, Mississippi State, uh, Texas Christian, Penn State, University of Kansas, University of Arkansas, University of Oklahoma, St. Louis University, Baylor University, Texas Tech, Auburn University, and San Diego State. So those were the 24 schools that I applied to. Sorry for the background, this is like a mess. This is a bad background. Okay, <laughs> now we can get into where I'm going, I guess. Okay, well, also I'm gonna be putting in the reactions to most of the schools in here. Some of them I don't have on camera. I think it's like, so first, out of all of them, we're gonna take out the ones that I got rejected from because like, I'm obviously not going there. <laughs> So the ones that I got flat out rejected from are North Carolina State, UC Santa Barbara, Boston University, University of Michigan, University of Houston, Clemson University, UT Dallas, Texas Christian, University of Arkansas, Baylor University, Texas Tech, Auburn University, and San Diego State. So that's like 13 schools I guess out of my 24 which is kind of bad but that's okay. So those are the ones that I got flat out rejected from. Some of the ones that I really wanted to go to, definitely Boston. So I already know where I'm going to college, but my Boston University decision is in. I really hope I get in just because like, I wanna say I got in. I'm nervous, but I know where I'm going. <laughs> Okay, I got rejected. That's okay. Boston was at the top of my list. Well, like, it was my number one reach school out of all of those. I really liked Auburn's program, but I didn't think I would go just because, like, um, it's Alabama, and I don't know if Alabama's in the cards for me, even though, like, I got a really good recommendation letter to Auburn um, from alumni and everything. So those are the schools that I got rejected from. My decision for tech is ready. Oh, I got rejected. Oh, that's sad. I think University of Michigan came out today. Yeah, this is a big reach school. It's out. Okay. Yeah, okay. They can't give me admission. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know when schools started doing this, but like a lot of schools have the programs where you go to like community college for a year and then you like transfer into the actual university, go to a separate campus, then you transfer into the main campus. And I actually got a good amount of those. <laughs> Each school has something different that it's called and everything, um, which that's actually, that's actually a really good deal that I'm now like realizing, um, especially from really prestigious schools. Actually really good if you get those kind of programs but however I did not want to participate in a program like that because for me my mentality was if they don't want me like straight in then they like I don't want them at all that's just my personal take on it the ones that I received those programs from were Texas A&M, UT Austin, UT San Antonio, 
Penn State, and I think that was it. Um, I'm Legacy at Texas A&M. My dad went there. My mom like supports them, I guess. Um, she went to like a different A&M campus, and um, my aunt went there. It, we're just like I have a lot of family that went to A&M, and a lot of friends. But I wasn't that hurt by it because I definitely knew like going into like the college application process that I wanted to go out of state very badly. Um, however, my dad and my family wanted me to apply to a lot of in-state schools as safe schools, I guess, or also just to keep it in my options. A&M, I got into the PSA program, which is you go to a different A&M campus for a year, then you transfer to A&M like A&M Galveston, A&M Corpus Christi, A&M Prairie View, UT Austin is actually like really good to get that program. It's called CAP and uh, a lot, pretty much every kid got capped this year. Um, but I knew I never wanted to go to UT Austin. It's a very prestigious school, very good, but like not in the cards for me. I really want to get out of Texas. Yeah, UT Austin got capped, which is I think a different UT campus for, the, for a year, like UT Dallas, UT San Antonio. UT San Antonio, I don't even know. I think it was like community college for a year or something like that. Ah, wait, what? <laughs> Congratulations, you've been selected to participate in the on track transitioning roadrunners at the Alamo. Oh, okay. And then Penn State was the one that I was considering the most. I really loved Penn State and I was so down to go to a different campus for two years. I got into their 2 plus 2 program. So I have six schools left over Mississippi State, LSU, CU Boulder, University of Arizona, St. Louis University, and University of Kansas. Um, the first one I'm definitely removing is University of Kansas. Excuse my looks, but I think I just got my University of Kansas admissions. I got it! I never really wanted to go, um, and I didn't want to apply either. Nothing against the school, it's just like, not for me. Kansas really just wasn't where I wanted to be. My college counselor asked me to put that on my list just because they do have such a good, like, program and I also received a pretty nice scholarship from them um, but again Kansas was not where I wanted to be and it's also not where my parents wanted me to go either so I'm removing University of Kansas from my list so the next one that I removed from my list was St. Louis University I actually really liked St. Louis University I never toured I did like the virtual tours but um I like the way it looked online and they have one of the best um, occupational science like programs in the country um it's like very much nationally ranked but number one i didn't get accepted into my major so that obviously was like a dead giveaway like i don't want to go if i don't get my major i don't think my parents wanted me going to missouri just because it is like really small and like uh, they just didn't hear very good things about SLU, so um, I didn't really want to apply as well. It was something that my college counselor told me to do, um, but I'm actually really glad that I applied. Um, it was a really great school, but not for me, I guess, and also my family didn't want me going there. So next one that I'm going to remove is Mississippi State. I chose to apply to Mississippi State because I had gone to a college fair and I'd spoken with the recruiter from Mississippi State. He was so persuasive. He told me like all these great things about Mississippi State. Um, and I don't know, I've always been like, I mean, I'm from Texas, so I like Southern schools kind of. I just grew up around Southern schools and I don't know, like, I liked what I had heard about Mississippi State. I got in really easily. It was the first school that I got into. No, I really liked it, but my parents were like not too happy about it. They just weren't big fans of Mississippi State. A big thing for me in schools was diversity, and Mississippi was is like not diverse, like at all. <laughs> so um, that's why I crossed it off of my list. Now I have LSU, C Boulder, and University of Arizona, and. I am crossing off University of Arizona. I actually applied because my sister went there. She loved it. <laughs> she loved U of A and I visited her like twice and I liked Arizona. I didn't want to go where my sister went because I wanted new experiences of my own. I didn't think Arizona was where I wanted to be um, for the next four years and I don't know. Something about it just turned me off especially because my sister went there but my mom was so hands down on me going there. Um, but I kind of automatically knew like I did not want to go um, So yeah, I crossed Arizona off my list now 
I am down to two schools, CU Boulder and LSU. These were definitely my top two schools for a long time. LSU was my dream school. This is what, an LSU decision coming up right now? There's, there's confetti, but I don't know. <gasps> I got in, I got in! I got Yay, in. I got congratulations. In. Congratulations on your admission to LSU and welcome to the class of 2024. Yay, there you go. Yay. I'm wearing an a and hoodie. <laughs> well, I had never thought about LSU until this year, until my senior year. And I freaking loved it. If you go back to my get ready with me for senior photos, um, video I talk about LSU and C Boulder. Right now, front and fronter is LSU. I didn't think I'd go to a big college. Like, isn't like, I didn't think I'd go to like a big name university. So I think we came to the conclusion that LSU is a really good option because it's four hours from my house and I am eligible for in-state tuition because of my test scores. I visited the campus and I was in love. I've never felt love like that before. Absolutely loved the campus way too much. And how much I loved LSU. I toured the campus and it was beautiful. They have a one of the best ranked kinesiology programs in the country. And I just loved the environment there. I was just so in love with that school. Literally loved it so much. See you Boulder. <laughs> There's an application status update to my C Boulder application, which I didn't think was coming till February. I really, really like the school. Oh. <gasps> Yay! I got in! I toured the campus in February. Absolutely fell in love. I fell in love with both the campuses. It was honestly breathtaking how beautiful it was. Um, I love the cold weather. I have a nationally ranked physiology program which is like important to me that the program's really good of course because like that's why i'm going yeah i just really liked it i loved the environment at both the schools in the fall and for the next four years i will be attending cu boulder i am beyond excited the reason i decided to go with um University of Colorado over Louisiana State is because I grew up in the South. Um, I'm from Texas. And so I was very much surrounded with the Southern like experience, college experience. A big thing was I don't think I want to rush in college. And at schools in the South, you pretty much have to rush to make friends, especially at a big school like LSU. Um, it was really important to me that I get the whole college experience, not like almost like a secluded one. And I feel like moving to Baton Rouge would be kind of isolating for me. The weather was very important for me. Um, and in Colorado, it is nice and cold and I absolutely love the cold. Yeah, and when I went and toured CU Boulder, I felt like a different person on that campus. Genuinely, it felt like somewhere I could be home for the next four years. And you know, the rooms were exactly what I wanted. The people were so positive. It was just great. I loved it so freaking much it was amazing and i literally i am i cannot wait for august like what now that i know where i'm going i checked out of high school love lsu so much i genuinely pulled out all the stops to get into that school when i tell you like i attended meetings in like 45 minutes away from here i drove and attended meetings in hotel ballrooms to go like talk with like alumni and admission officers and everything i did everything in my power it was so nice to like actually get in um but i think once i got in i just could not see myself living there colorado i actually didn't even know the school existed until my sister brought it up to me and she thought that i would fit in there and she was so right i cannot wait to live in boulder i actually don't even i barely know how to ski i'm kind of afraid of skiing but I will have to learn. I can't wait to hike. I can't wait to be 25 minutes from Denver. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Film a generous. Follow me on all my social medias. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.